All new at five, Birmingham realtors and economic leaders are reacting to the Fed's decision to hike interest rates to try and combat inflation. CBS 42's Michael Clark is live in Mountain Brook tonight. Michael, people shopping for homes are likely to see one of the biggest impacts here. Well, Ben, right now it's a very active market. And while economists will tell you if you're searching for a new house, you're likely to pay more now. The president of the Birmingham Association of Realtors says it's likely going to take a while before you notice any significant changes. As for sales signs come and go quickly in a booming housing market, there's been concern about the impact from a decision to raise the interest rate by the Fed. A slowdown is not a stop. <laughs> it's not a, you know, a drastic decline. Anna Marie Ellison is current president of the Birmingham Association of Realtors and works as managing partner at ERA King. She says lenders and brokers already accounted for Wednesday's hike that was three quarters of a percentage point. Mortgage interest rates raised in, in anticipation of the Fed raising the interest rates probably about 30 to 60 days ago. Um, the rates are still unbelievably volatile. Even though some mortgage rates have almost doubled since the start of the year, Ellison says now even rates between 5 and 6 percent are still well below traditional norms. People buy houses regardless of what the interest rate are. Might be a few less of them actually looking right now, but I think if you ask a lot of the realtors or a lot of the buyers, they would be okay with only competing with 10 to 15 other buyers, not competing with 20 to 25 other buyers. With red hot inflation, the Fed hopes the decision will be a step in the right direction. That's what the Fed's hoping for is that by raising rates, it'll cool off the economy. Things will slow down a little bit so that the, the the prices, price rises that we've been seeing finally start to abate. UAB Collot School of Business economist Ben Meadows says PPP loans for businesses and other aid may have saved the country from catastrophe during the pandemic, but now there's another side to the coin. What we chose is to prop up businesses with activist policy that we knew the side effect would be inflation. We just didn't know how bad it would be. But the thing we knew is that inflation can be cooled off by Fed policy. Well, Dr. Meadows tells me the rate hike will also impact any kind of business that's in the lending sector, so it's likely to be felt well beyond the housing industry. For now, reporting live in Mountain Brook, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.